Um, hi everyone. This is like so cool. Also, I haven't set up the chat box yet, or at least it's not like sourced. So just ignore that. Just ignore that. Oh wait, no, now it's working. Cool. I'm such a genius. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to my stream. I'm like so nervous. Well, not anymore, but I was so nervous. I like to be honest about that because I feel like streamers just seem so put together, but no. Um, <laughs> I was so worried about everything going correctly. So hi, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Today we're saying goodbye to my island, Antilia. Um, let me know if you would like me to change anything about the audio, if the game audio is too quiet or too loud, my mic is too quiet or too loud, just mention it in the chat. And hi everyone, thank you all for being here. I saw Foxgrove in the chat. Uh, hi, Susie, Olivia, Enrique. Hello, Terry. I am so happy you're all here. Ah, oh, I was so ready. So ready to come back. Hi, Kayla Crossing. Kayla also has a YouTube channel. Make sure you check out her videos. They're amazing. Hello, Amber, Nora, Snooksy. Hello. Wow, I missed you guys so much. I have had a wild, wild time finishing Antilia. I also have my uh, stream pulled up from my personal YouTube account because I'm so nervous that the capture card is just gonna decide to stop working because that happened yesterday. Oh my gosh, Caroline, thank you so much for joining my channel. <clears throat> and to those of you who have been subscribing, thank you, I really appreciate it. Terry says you could turn your mic up. Let me do that. ka -chow. It's slightly higher now. Okay, we're gonna go with that for now. Um, yeah, so I time traveled to summer, which means I definitely have uh, cockroaches in my house, but here we are. I wanted to see what the island looked like with like yellow hibiscus shrubs blooming. So that's why I time traveled. See, now they're blooming and they're so cute. They won't be like this in the dream address. By the way, the dream address is going to be available to the public tomorrow. Greg, thank you for subscribing. Hi, Lyra. I think someone said happy birthday to you. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Hi, Ellie Lixa. Welcome. Thank you for attending your first stream on my channel. Oh my gosh, is Sienna here? I always say your name wrong, I feel like. Sienna, Sienna. I love you either way. Pennywise Clown, thank you. I'm just running around here. You're kind of getting a mini tour, but yeah, I just wanted to see what everything looked like before we destroy the island. And no, to answer your questions, I'm not super sad about saying goodbye to the island. I'm like really excited to start something new. It was really difficult for me. If you follow me on Twitter, you see all the struggles, but it was really difficult for me to finish the island. Thank you for subscribing, Feet. Um, I really didn't know if I was gonna finish this island, but now that we're here, I'm just happy that it's that it's like that. Oh my gosh, am I releasing your birthday? Am I releasing your birthday? Am I releasing my dream address on your birthday, Erin? That's so cool. It's your birthday present. I knew, I knew. Hi, Mina, welcome to the channel. Let's go. Miko, I have the dream address set to spring. I really don't have anything else to do here. I suppose we could just go ahead and delete. I'm going to be restarting, for those of you asking. I am saying goodbye for real to the island. And thank you for asking, David. I've been well. I'm trying to think if there's any other view that would be enhanced by the bushes blooming. Oh, this area over here is so cute with them blooming. Thank you, George and Kathy, for subscribing. I also set up a cute little member goal, so I hope you can see that on the screen. Actually, I know you can because I'm seeing the screen. So yeah, I have a little member goal now. My goal is to reach 50 members by the end of, I think, June. That gives me plenty of time. 
All right, friends, I think it's time. We have, I've given everyone a couple minutes to make it to the stream before we delete the island. Um, oh my gosh, RY, the cat in the bottom corner does look like Rolly. That's why I chose this new streaming setup. Oh my gosh. Caroline, thank you for the super chat. Your videos always give me so much inspiration, so thank you. You are always such a joy to watch. Love your videos and beautiful island. You are so kind. I'm so glad that I can inspire you. Thank you so much for your kindness. Okay, besties, I think it's time. I'm not saving anything from this island. I have like all these random things in my pockets. I'm just gonna start completely fresh. I feel like I always hurriedly put things on Lorien so that I can pick them up from the new island. Not this time, we're starting anew. So let's get right into it. We're gonna go home. I should probably actually, should I close the game? We'll just close the game. And then we're gonna find how to delete the island completely. You all are not ready for this. Also, Rosbos, thank you so much for becoming a member. Where's data? Data management. This is kind of scary. Manage software. We're going for Animal Crossing. No, I don't want to delete. How do I delete the data? Why didn't I look into this before I started? ka -chow. Save data. Oh my god, am I stupid? I really said, just kidding. We can't delete it because I forgot how. I love the mixed, the mixed uh, reactions to me potentially deleting Antilia. Yeah, because I don't need to do all that. Okay, we're going to go back to data management. I am screaming inside. Honestly, me too. Me too. Manage software. While loading, click the minus. Where is the... Oh, there it is. Okay. I just didn't scroll down far enough. Haha. <laughs> Welcome to Lex being a mess. Let's delete all the saved data. Deleted say data cannot be recovered. Delete this data. Delete that data. Wow, that was so fast, y'all. I just deleted Antilia. Okay, welcome to me deleting. Also, thank you. So many people are subscribing right now. I'm gonna cry. Thank you all so much for being here. And now I'm gonna go into the system settings. Hi, Rowan! Thank you so much for your donation and for telling me how to get to the save data because I'm, um, apparently lost. I'm gonna synchronize the clock so that it's the right time. And now we're gonna start a new island. <laughs> Everyone in the chat telling me how to find it because I cannot. That's incredible. Thank you all. RIP, but on to new things. You're right, Susie. I know, until he was deleted faster than Thanos could snap his fingers. True. Reminds me when you deleted Lost Falls. Yeah, I know. How many switches do you got? I have two. I have this one that I use for YouTube, and then I have the Switch Lite, which is what I played Animal Crossing on originally. Um, but you can't record with a Switch Lite, which is why I have this one for YouTube. Let's go. Kaylin, thank you for becoming a member. Look at that, we're already four away from our member goal. I'm so lucky to have this community. Villados fam, what is your new theme? So people voted for me to just not have a theme. And I was like, you know, that actually sounds kind of fun. So that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna do whatever. Thank you for asking, Caroline. And yeah, I do plan to enjoy the beginning of the game. I thought maybe we could do some Let's Plays, maybe even stream a little bit. And Terry, Lorian is really good. Um, I'm in the middle of rebuilding her. So that's exciting. I keep not like having any motivation, but we're doing our best. Yes, it is. Why did I say yes it is? This is not my first time. Okay. Michaela, thank you for your super chat. Thank you, bestie. 
Wait, did it ask for my name? I think it, yeah, it did, okay. Lex, we're gonna go with my regular name. Are you okay with Lex? Yes. Yeah, no theme does sound refreshing. I'm hoping that it'll be very, um, whatchamacallit, uh, freeing, freeing. My birthday, birthday reveal. My birthday is September 21st. Do I have any birthday twins in the chat? Birthday besties. Jessica, thank you for joining my channel. You all are so kind. I'm a mess, okay. Praying for good starters, me too. What will the new island name be? So I'm thinking Xenia, Z-I-N-N-I-A. That's the current, uh, that's the current plan. Aw, oh, Danny, that's cool. Or Danny, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. What vibes? Fall, summer, probably summer since that's the season we're going into because I don't really want to time travel very much here. Look at all these September friends. My brother's birthday is September 21st. My brother's birthday is September 18th. So that's fun. Oh, you guys are spoiling me with your kindness. Let's see, we're gonna go, I'm like hecka white, so we're gonna do that. All of the beginner hairstyles get on my nerves, but I'm gonna try this one because I've never used this one before. Thank you, Terry. I like the name too. I think it's like a cute little town vibe. Let's see. What eyes do I usually, I think I usually get the ones with eyelashes. Hold on. These, look how cute. I think my eyes are more this color. Are you going to do natural or city? So I'm thinking, I don't really have a theme, so I guess I could do both. But what nose do I usually use? I think this one. Okay. This is so funny how I keep forgetting what I look like in the game. Okay, let's go. That's me. Oh, the answer to the question. Um, yeah, so I, like I said, don't want to really do a theme, but I'm thinking maybe some town vibes, like a very organized kind of island. Some more city than natural, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not trying to hold myself to any sort of standard. I just want to do whatever. We have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Oh, I'm just lurking from bed. Haha, <laughs> hugs from Holland. Well, thank you for being here. We love to see it. I would be in bed right now, too, if I could do that while streaming. Susie, thank you for the super chat and the cute gif. North America. Two more until member goal. I know. I know. I'm so lucky to have you all here. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far. Yes. Hello, have a nice evening, you all. Greetings from Poland. Poland, wow. Greetings from the United States. Hello, Owen. I hope you're well. All of you, well, you actually missed me deleting Antilia. And Leia, the dream address will be available tomorrow. I'm gonna post it here and on Instagram. Oh my gosh, EJ, thank you. I did get a new computer. Also, everyone, please check out EJ's channel. He is so talented. They have, like, amazing videos, and their streams are really, really fun. They do Survivor style. So, yeah, EJ is a bestie. Look at this. We went through all that, and all of these maps, garbage. Okay, actually, I'm kind of feeling this one. I really want a big peninsula. Suki, thank you so much for joining my channel. How did I almost miss that? Okay. I don't know. What map do you all like best? I'm just going to keep like struggling between these. Ashley, Peaches as well. Peaches as well. She is currently at the pool with my parents. Um... I basically just asked them if they would <laughs> go away while I stream. Not really, not really. But Peaches wanted to go to the pool, so that's where they are. They're just chilling. I'm thinking this map, this bottom one. Some people hate the two river mouths at the bottom, but I think they're easiest to decorate around. Hi, everyone from Belgium. 
Germany, everyone from everywhere. Okay, bottom left, fourth, top right. I'm seeing a lot of fours. This one is four, I think. The two southern river mounds. You know what? We're going to go with it. We're going to go. This is going to be Xenia. All in favor, say aye. Top left, because the plaza is centered? Is it? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, no. This one's, like, really far away, though, which is what I prefer. Let's see. Top left has... Ooh, it does have a fun peninsula, though. Has one of those that's, like, big on the... Okay. We'll do top left. We'll do top left. All in favor, say aye, but again this time. I'm from South Korea. I've been there. I've been to South Korea before. I visited Seoul in 2019. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do that one. We are one away from our member goal. Wow. Wonderful choice. Ah, but before we depart, I have one final question for you. Okay, how do you all answer this question? I've heard that it doesn't really, like, affect anything. I always choose something different just to see what it'll do. But, okay. A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, or something to kill time. Oh my gosh, all of you in the chat, hello! Okay, hi from Ireland. Well, hello, crossing ponies. I always choose either some food or a sleeping bag, I feel like, so we'll go with something to kill time. I'm bringing my phone. How old is Peaches? Peaches is a nine. She's a little nine-year-old. I just say food, okay. So we're in agreement usually about food. I had macaroni right before the stream. Hey. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Are you all excited? Oh my gosh. We are starting a new island right now. I've never done it live before. I always just start my island and like speed run the beginning. Ooh, Rowan, you do sleeping bag, I see. It affects starter villagers, but they're always a sisterly and a jock. Oh, Crossing Pony, also Ireland. I didn't know you were from Ireland, David. Or maybe I did and I forgot. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. We're only like 20 minutes into stream and Antilly is already gone. That's wild to me. I'm waiting for my fried sushi. Wow, I'm jealous. I want some fried sushi. Let's go. I feel like the alerts are so behind. They're like, yeah, let me just tell you about the super chat that happened 10 minutes ago. Hello, Vera. Thank you for becoming a member of my channel. I forgot how cute this little intro video is. I could skip it, but it's like precious. Thank you for the super chat, Marleone. I know I'm also excited for the villagers. Like, I really hope they're good. And no, I won't reset if I don't like them because they'll eventually move out anyway. I feel like if I was picky about it, I'd be here all day. Lex, do you have a favorite from the islands you've built? Yes, I do. I liked the first version of Lorien best, the spring Lorien that I built back last year, like around September. That's my favorite island that I've designed so far. Oh my gosh, you're right. Member goal reached already. Oh, thank you all so much. I stubbed my toe on the wall three minutes ago. I'm so sorry. I hope your toe is okay. I'm excited too, Emily. I'm excited to see the villagers. Please be good. Also, I can't I can't remember if I mentioned it, but <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear my air conditioning in the background like kind of faint. I have a super fancy window unit and it's like hot, 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 hot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The fact that Sprocket has the audacity the audacity to show up on my island 
If you know me, you know he is my least favorite villager ever. Like, he was my first ever jock. He was the first villager I ever had on my original Animal Crossing island. And I can't stand him. I literally cannot. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And a kangaroo. I guess this one's okay. She looks kind. You know what I mean? But Sprocket? We're gonna- we have to amiibo him out of here. I'm gonna scream. My friends who know about this are cackling right now. Uh, okay. Let's talk to Tom Nook. Thank you for all the L's. Can we get F's in the chat, please? Because I am dying. And Michaela, I don't want to hear it from you. Michaela likes Sprocket. Um, no. Yes, Enrique, he is my worst enemy. Worse than Maple, even. This warrants a reset. I just don't want to go through the beginning a hundred times. What if I don't get a fun, uh, peninsula again? Oh, you should reset. No, no, I am. I am too, too, I'm just engaged here. I am, I'm invested. Is that her name? Sylvia? I'm so sorry, Lex. It's okay. It's okay. Just try once more. I really like this island, though. What if the next islands I get are, like, garbage? And then I just reset, like, 40 times. Okay, let's go. Thank you for subscribing, stylish emu. Michaela said, don't you dare reset. You got it. You got it. Currently dreaming of Lorian to cope. I hope you're enjoying. What's your beef with Maple? I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm not even going to talk about it. Sorry for your loss. Oh my gosh, hi Bailey! Hello, bestie Bailey. I read this tweet the other day. Actually, I didn't even... I highly recommend... Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to what he's saying. Um, I read this tweet the other day that was like, we should start saying bestie the way nuns say sister. So they're like, they're like hello, sister Matilda. We should just greet each other as hi bestie. And then name. I think that would be fun. Okay. Keep it if you like it. Don't give in to peer pressure. Thank you, Terry. I'm staying strong. And Agnes, I will try to yeet Sprocket away. I will try. We do not mention Maple in this chat. Honestly, she is cute. Maybe I'll get over my beef with her. And if she shows up on Xenia, we'll just, we'll be okay with that. If you've seen my little tips and tricks video you know I always start out with my buildings on the beach if possible so here we are I'm gonna put my little tent here that just makes it where it's like the stuff isn't in the way when you're trying to terraform this is the spot I'm late well thank you for coming Sunny I had both of them as starters and I hated it well hopefully they won't be here for long it is annoying that I have to deal with Sprocket until I have, like, I think, can they move out before you have 10 villagers? Also, where are they trying to place their tents? Because I want to edit that. Here, why do I keep wanting to call Sylvia Matilda? Is there a kangaroo named Matilda? Aw, oh, thank you so much for the super chat. I do not speak French, but Pelour, I think? Thank you so much. You already found a good spot, huh? We're having trouble. Are you going to do an island a tour or dream address soon? Yes, I filmed the island tour yesterday to prepare for this stream, and I'm going to be posting it tomorrow at 10:30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. I'll find you a spot, Queen. What I don't like about the kangaroos is that the babies react at the same exact time as the mother, so it's like weird and robotic. Getting Sprocket is karma for your beef with Maple. Okay. Okay, whatever. You could pick out the perfect spot for that tent I gave you. I'm gonna wait in the plaza. Honestly, I kind of love Sylvia. She seems cute. She seems cute. And I can't remember what her house looks like, though. Like, her house exterior. Should I put Sylvia's tent here? This is the spot. I might finish my island soon. What should my next theme be? Bart, I'm thinking that your next theme should be either jungle. 
like really dense jungle or let me think urban with city streets here's sprocket hello you're lex right nice to meet you zort what a stupid nickname zort what's sylvia's baby's name do the babies have a name i don't know ah oh, no i told him he get oh. Is he gonna ask again? Because I definitely just told him we could place his uh, tent there. Something seems off. There we go. Sylvia's house is square, purple, black, and white. Interesting. I'll think over it some more. No, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move your tent. Do you already have a theme? I am gonna do no theme for this island. I'm just gonna see what happens. Let's go. I wish the starters could upgrade their interiors as the game progresses. Me too. I feel like that would be preferable for sure. Can't wait to see the epic spot that you pick for me. I'm gonna yeet him straight into the ocean. Straight into the ocean. Let's go. Can I place his house in the ocean? I've got Sylvia's amiibo card three times. Oh my gosh, Rowan. And thank you for the super chat, by the way. I can feel your salt all the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. But you're... It's accurate. It's accurate. There's definitely salt. Okay. Waiting for the day Lex does Tropicor. I kind of want to try a Tropicor island, but I feel like I get tired of Tropicor so fast. Like, it's fun. And then it's not. This is the spot. Thoughts on Cottagecore? Um, I like Cottagecore. I think it's a cool little theme. I mean, it's pretty classic, especially on Animal Crossing social media, but... Could you make a Nookazon video? You know, for a while, before they took away the verification badges, I was actually verified on Nookazon because I did so much, um... So much trading. My name means Moonlight, but you can call me Teiko if you prefer. That's such a pretty meaning. Tropicor would be so cute. I think it would be cute. I just, I don't know if I can commit to that. A roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started. Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. I think, okay, Tom Nook wants me to get like twigs and fruit at first. I try to get them both at the same time so I don't have to talk to him multiple times. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. I can't remember how many, um, how many fruits you need. So I'm just gonna get 10. I didn't even pay attention. <gasps> my native fruit is cherries. That was my native fruit on my island, Rivendell too. That was my first island ever. I wonder what my native flower is gonna be. It was lilies on Rivendell. I love Jurassic Park inspired islands. Yeah, I bet those are gorgeous. I don't know if I've seen one. Actually, I think I reposted uh, on my Instagram an island with a lot of fossils. Maybe they were um, maybe they were Jurassic Park themed. Please do city core. Oh, is this your new island? It is, it is. We already got rid of Antilia at the beginning of the video because there really wasn't anything to look at there. I mean, the dream address is ready. Everything was fine. I'm restarting my second island and would like to do a tropical theme, but I'm horrible at all themes. You know, you can always just go no theme and see where it goes. Like what I'm doing here. I usually- I like to have themes because it helps me visualize what I'm gonna do. But at the same time- oh my gosh, my Tamagotchi just beeped. At the same time, I feel like they can be really exhausting sometimes and really limiting depending on what your theme is. I mean, a theme should never limit you. You can always go outside of the bounds of a theme, but- I have noticed that I do feel pressure when I start a theme to carry it out. How long will the stream be? I have no idea. No clue. Until either I feel like I've gotten to a good spot on my island or my capture card decides that it is done. Six fruits. Okay, well I got extra. I got extra. We got ten tree branches and ten fruits. Actually, I think we have twelve fruits. That's fine. How about meadow core? That would be gorgeous. Yes, I am gonna swim to the other parts of the island when I can buy a swimsuit. 
That is what I'm here for. I want to restart my island, but I can't let my villager go. See, I do, since I have the dream address, I can always visit the villagers on my dream. So I don't really feel like I've lost them, even though they like forget who I am. Like they don't recognize me in the dream. I still think they're cute. These are 100% without a doubt genuine cherries. You've already collected enough cherries. Yeah, I did. How do y'all restart so easily? I get so attached to my little island. See, I feel like for me, I'm super attached to Lorien. It was really hard for me to delete Rivendell, my first ever island, but I made Lorien on that switch and now I'm really attached to Lorien. I don't think I would restart Lorien, but I go into these islands with the understanding that I will eventually swap them out for a new one so that I can build new things. But I guess that makes it easier knowing the whole time. Let's go. I cannot believe I got Sprocket as a starter. Like, that is just so rude. I was playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and Julian is moving in today. That's cute. Um, I actually just recently got uh, New Leaf for the first time. I never played it as a child. Uh, but since everyone loved it so much here in the Animal Crossing community, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it. And now I really enjoy it. Not going to lie. I would cry if I restarted my island. Me with Lorian, honestly. I miss Animal Crossing Wild World. I wondered if I should... I just typed one. No. Oh my god, wait. How do I move? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Suggest a name for the island. We're going to go with Zinnia. I'm glad I thought about this before stream so it wouldn't be like paused here for 30 minutes trying to figure it out. Zinnia. I have an idea for your next island. Please do share, Bart. I am listening. Hello, Daniela. Thank you for being here. New Horizons is my first Animal Crossing. Me too. That was the first Animal Crossing game that I played. I did briefly play Pocket Camp so that I could uh, get the camper van, or not camper van, the camp items, like the camp sign and all that stuff. What does the follower mean? What do you mean? Follower on the screen? That just means like, so basically this was made for actually Switch. So new subscriber is like new member actually, like member on the channel and new follower is just whoever has most recently subscribed to my channel. The real ones know Animal Crossing for GameCube was amazing. I didn't play that either. I mean, obviously, since New Horizons was my first. Sprocket is not cute, Michaela. Absolutely not. How about a no terraformed island? See, I've considered that as well, but terraforming is like my favorite part. So I feel like if I did one without terraforming, that would really take away the magic for me. You should recreate your first island. Rivendell. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would. There are tours of it. I'll try to remember to link a tour of Rivendell in the description because it does still exist on the internet. The kangaroo suggesting awesome beach. That's so inaccurate. You can't even use that many letters. Rude. Got the pleasure of playing all the Animal Crossing games except Wild World. I've heard mixed reviews about Wild World. Some people said there wasn't really much to do. The options for when you talk to the villagers are actually kind of dumb. It's like you can say a word or two. Stop. It's funny though. I miss being absolutely roasted by my villagers. I've heard about that. I've seen screenshots where the villagers are just so mean. That's like so funny to me. Hello Frogo. Thank you for tuning in. I really loved City Folk for the Wii. I don't have a Wii, but I used to, and I don't think we ever had City Folk. Actually, I know we didn't, because I would have remembered it. I always played Guitar Hero Aerosmith Edition. I need to go, but I'm so happy I caught this stream. Well, thank you for coming, Emily. I appreciate you so much. And hi, Rebecca. Yes, you do have spooky abandoned city core inspo. Thank you for that. Someone DM'd me that it had uh, Stephen King vibes. Will you be time skipping today? I don't plan to unless I get like really bored here. 
Also, can we talk about how cute this new stream layout is, though? I'll, uh, I'll try to remember also to link the Etsy shop I got this from because the talent is real. The little cat. The little baby. I decided this little fresh layout would help me stay motivated to post. I should probably- oh, I forgot to chat with Tom Nook. Dang. Let's go back to resident services. Lex, can you imagine another island name got picked? I would be so mad. I know, I know. Imagine if they just picked one of the villagers' uh, suggestions. My new island is named Awesome Beach. Mr. Nook. Ah, oh, Lex, having a good time, yes? Yes, yes I am. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. You'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. Thank you. I don't understand why they couldn't have just put that in the tent in the beginning. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Lex. Someone did a Let's Play of the GameCube game. I can't remember who it was, but the series name is Retro Crossing, I believe. I'll have to check it out. McKenna, hi! Thanks for coming to my stream today. I am back in business. Here we are, actually, actually streaming. Yeah, Leanna, I do hate Sprocket, and yet here he is. Where's our king, Rolly? Uh, I actually feel really bad because Rolly was trying to come in my room, and I was like, no, you can't come in here because I'm going to be streaming, and you're going to knock things over. He's probably sitting outside my door, very disappointed. Rest my head for a little while. We're gonna rest. Tom Nook, baddie or angel? Definitely a baddie. The organized gamer retro crossing. Yeah, she's so great. I'll have to give that a watch. You have the worst first villagers. Yeah, they're not the best for sure, but we accept them. Hi, I'm from Russia. How are you? That's incredible. Hi, I'm from the United States and I'm doing well. How are you? So it looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Tom Nook is definitely a baddie. How am I supposed to watch both you and EJ stream at the same time? Is EJ streaming? Oh my gosh. I just chose this time randomly because it was the only time before Monday that I had time. <sighs> what did you say you named the island? I named it Xenia. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. This is just propaganda for buying a Nintendo Online subscription. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. Thank you, KK. Hi, I'm from Holland. Hello! We have complete opposite opinions, but I love it. About what? I had Billy and some pig. Hi, Lex. Hello, Kelly. It's supposed to be at 2.30, but he always be late. You know... The life of a content creator is so hard. Not KK calling you daddy-o. I know. I know. That's... Uh, every time I go through the beginning of the game, I'm like, literally, why? Pastel Lexi plays. Hello! Uh, thank you for joining. KK is brow goals. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Should I leave these and not open them like I did on Antilly, or should I just open them so I don't have that pressure? I'll leave them for now. There's no rush. I have a burning hatred for Plucky and she was my first villager. I can't even- I can't visualize Plucky. Oh, there you are. I hope you have a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept that long? Oh ho ho, yes. It's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Indeed. Hello, Cobbles. Thank you so much. Hi from America. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to your life in our little paradise. Open those stupid boxes. Don't bully me, McKenna. <clears throat> Opinions on reading. 
Tom Nook and Sprocket. I mean, Tom Nook is a baddie, but he can still be an angel. He can be your angle or your devil. We finally got our Nook phone. I will never understand the cat comment from KK. I'll never understand anything from KK. Thoughts on Freckles. Okay, I don't like the way Freckles looks, but I still think she's cute. It's like, it's kind of like how people say that the dogs with the really like smushed looking snouts are so ugly they're cute. That's kind of how I feel about Freckles. I have one of my own smartphones. Waiting right outside your tent. Yeah, Tom Nook is definitely stalking me. Good to know, good to know. I have one more thing for you. Oh yeah, my itemized bill. Amazing. Hazel and Poncho on your first island. Oh no. Oh no, wait, I like Poncho. I like Poncho. What are bells? Good one. Wait, you're being serious? Of course, I can't believe I didn't think of this. I just skipped through the dialogue like it's not even there. Serious question. Are you not sick of doing this tutorial by now? This is the fourth time, right? I don't even want to do it for a second time, TBH. You know, I don't really mind it. I think it's cute at the beginning. And it's like I know what to expect, but I still forget exactly what people say. I have three ducks, Scoot, Ketchup, and Molly. I really like, um... I f there's some duck that I really like. It's not Molly. I think Molly is really overrated. Um... That sounded so rude. She's still cute. She's still cute. Mileage? Thoughts on Toby. I feel like I like Toby. Isn't he the new Sanrio villager? I really like him. I got Poncho and Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia, twinsies. I destroyed my island because there was Big Pig. I don't know, I don't know what that means, but if you mean that you had a scary pig villager, it must have been Rasher because he is terrifying. How long do you think you're going to be playing ACNH? That's a deep question. Do you mean, like, how long am I going to play it in real life? How long am I going to stay engaged with the game? Or how long am I going to play today on stream? Because those are different answers. You're so familiar with the dialogue that you don't have to read anymore. Yeah, that's true. I'd just be skipping through. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. Yes, I'm sure you're a very busy loan shark. Let's go. Who's your dreamy? I love KK. I mean, no. <laughs> I just said KK, like KK Slider. Um, Kiki, the black cat. I love her so much. I was looking for Kiki, but then I found her way later on ticket number three. Wow. Um, that's lucky. That's lucky. Lex, did you get the Sanrio cards? I did not get them myself. I went to the closest, like, four targets and they were out. So I put it on my Instagram story that I was looking to buy them. And... A couple of people came through, so I got a pack for me, and I got a pack for my friend Kala in Ireland. And then I happened to win a Twitter giveaway for them. So I was able to share them with my friends, thankfully. What's your favorite KK song, and how do you feel about Hypno KK? I can't remember what Hypno sounds like, but I like KK Adventure and Stale Cupcakes. Hello, Hannah. Thank you for joining my stream today. What do you hope to see in a future update for Animal Crossing? So I would really like to see pretty much just more furniture would be my top choice. Like, I feel like everything has been done. I know that's not true because the possibilities are like endless with custom designs, but I'm just out of new ideas for the furniture that we have right now. Are you ever going to do a face reveal on YouTube? Perhaps, perhaps. I don't want to say never, but it's not going to be soon. I have been hunting for KK. You can't find KK on an island, unfortunately. Let's see. <laughs> she said my name. Yeah, I did. I did. Don't you have a black cat, Lex? Yeah, my cat, Rolly. Mr. Roland. He is a black cat. Oh my gosh, I forgot to read the dialogue, so now I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What should I do? That is the question. Have you- you have yet to attend one of the DIY workshops. Hmm? Once you get going with DIY, you'll really open some new doors. And of course, the workshop is completely free. No hidden fees. Well, let's go. I found Raymond on my fourth ticket when I was villager hunting for Eric and Bo. I took him because I like the way his outside- or the outside of his house looks. I love Raymond. I think he's so cute. I missed the destruction of Antilia. Yeah, it was very quick. Very quick. What's the new island name? It's Xenia. Z-I-N-N-I-A. 
Chara, hello. How's life? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I just am vibing here today. How is your life going? There was really an option. What does DIY mean? Stop. My friend has a black kitten called Molly. Cute. Hello from Singapore. Hello from North Carolina. Uh, hey, what are your opinions on the puns of Animal Crossing? You know, some of them really fall flat for me, but some of the, like, there are a few that I just really love. Tree branches. I like that they include puns on things because I think that's just so cute. What's the theme? No theme. No themes here. The vibe for this new island is gonna be whatever the heck we decide to build. I might get you guys uh, involved via polls on, like, in the community tab to see what you all would like to see, I guess. We went from A named island to Z named. True. You said five, right? He said five tree branches. I believe so. We got three. Oh my gosh, Shay, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Hi from a fellow North Carolinian. Hello, Morgan. I'm from like the triad. Right smack in the middle. I guess I'm gonna talk to Sprocket. Oh, how to quickly expel a villager. I would just Google a guide, honestly. I have no life. Yeah, that's... Me too. Me too. I just live here with you all. Wait, Lex, you're in North Carolina? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right here in the Tar Heel State. I am a Tar Heel, by the way. I graduated from UNC. Thoughts on Tangy. She is a cutie queen, for sure. Love her very much. Okay, we got Tom Nook here. Let's get started crafting that fishing rod. Hello from South Carolina. Wow. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of East Coasters here. Lex Army. <laughs> right between Asheville and Charlotte. Cool, cool. Charlotte's like an hour drive for me. Flimsy fishing rod. Oh my gosh, we should do like uh, some fishing. Some fishing. I enjoy fishing. As you can see, crafting is quite simple provided you have the correct recipes. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Thank you so much, Tom Nook. Hello from Norway. You all for the, you're like, you guys are from all over the world. All over the world. Good luck for your restart. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you. Can you turn up the actual game audio? Yes, I can. Let me see, Elgato. Right now it's pretty quiet because we're not really doing anything. Would you mind opening it up? Thoughts on Biscuit. I like Biscuit. Hi from Ashboro. Bro, that's where I was born. That's where my P.O. box is. It's Peggy's birthday, by the way. Is Peggy a pig? Hello from me and my sister in the UK. Hello, Gemma and Gemma's sister. I may not last forever. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. What kind of builds will you make? All kinds, all kinds. I plan on doing some plazas, perhaps. I really do want to do some nice terraforming. Oh, my dad's from Georgia. Okay. Let's see here. I've got the fishing rod. That'll probably help me out. Wait, I should probably have asked what else I need to do. Thoughts on Coco. I love Coco. She is on Antilia and I just, I adore her. Also, I'm still trying to figure out the uh, ideal like video output for streaming. So if it gets a little choppy sometimes, I don't think it's lag. I think it's just that I'm still not attuned with the settings. Hello from Pennsylvania. Hello. Hello from the distant, exotic land of Texas. Well, hello. Hello. I have family in Texas. <laughs> Did anyone watch the Eurovision in Europe? No, but I heard that Italy won. 
and that France was second, I think. Hi from Iran. Hannah, you just said you were from uh, Norway. I was noticed. Indeed, indeed. Let's freak fracking go. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing. A little bit of fishing here. Thoughts on Tybalt. I like the tigers, actually. I think they're cute. So not just Tybalt, but like all of them. Wow, that was bad. Let me just... Please accept my offering of fish bait. I don't even have fish bait. Oh my gosh, I am a noob. Hello from the UK, hello from North Dakota. Oh, you live in Norway, but you're from Iran. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. It's hot here, yeah, it's hot here too. Very warm day. Tibble is just like, yeah, yeah, he is. I love that for him. Oh my god, I was too late that time. Zero points for us in Eurovision. Shock. Thoughts on your starters? Mad. Angry. Angry thoughts only. Sylvia's okay. Sylvia's okay. I don't want to be rude to her. Hello from middle of nowhere, Iowa. I respect that. My process for picking a theme. Pick a season and go from there. That's fair. That's fair. You should make a video ranking villagers. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I could do all 400 of them. 400? Explain why Australia is in Eurovision. Let them live. It's insanely hot here. Yeah, it's it's getting warmer. Warmer as the day goes on. I'm determined to catch this bitch. This has been a mess. Yes, here we go. What's your local flower? I'm not sure yet. I am not sure. Oh my gosh, someone is named John Kirstein. My king? My favorite character in Attack on Titan? Okay. Oh, McKenna, I don't know if you're still here, but I remember vaguely that you asked what show I'm watching right now. And I am watching, um... I'm in the middle of Assassination Classroom. I haven't finished that. And I think I'm going to start, uh either Bridgerton or Hunter x Hunter. Although I also promised my brother I would read, not read, watch Naruto. Would you get Kiki on this island? Yes, I was. I mean, would. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> what? What theme is your new island going to be? No theme, no theme. I caught two snow, snow horses. Sea horses. This one's different though. New fish, new fish. I am going to reset. Good luck, Bart. Where I live, it's cold. I'm sitting here with a t-shirt and long pants, low-key freezing. Um, not here. I'm in the southern US, so it's not like super hot, but I think it's like 80 outside. Something like that. Ooh, a river fish. I'm gonna sell all these fish. This is the beginning of my monopoly on bells on Zinnia. I can't reach that fish, okay. Please watch Hunter Hunter. I know, I know, I want to. It's just like I'm procrastinating. My brother wants to watch it together and I'm like, mm, I, want, I kinda wanna binge watch the whole thing in a day. I love Assassination Classroom. Yeah, I think it's pretty fun. I haven't finished it yet, but I got like, I think I'm pretty far. There's only one season, right? I think I'm like over halfway through. at all these fish. I've divided my island in quads and each quad is a whole season. That's pretty unique. I love that. Wait Lex, can I put a message and can you pin the next message that I send? Unfortunately no because I am not on the actual chat. Like I can't pin things from my streaming software. And also I wouldn't promise because I don't know what you're gonna say. If death does not feel like 80 though, lol it feels like it's near 100. Yeah. I feel like the sun do be beaten down today. I'm so jealous of my family. They really were like, oh, you're going to be streaming today, Lex? We're going to go to the pool without you. I can't believe I missed that fish, but I think it was just a seahorse. So I'm going to try not to be sad about it.
have fun, McKenna. Tell EJ I said hello. Um, it is raining crazy in the part of England I am in. It's very sunny here. Like, bright sunny. Hey Zort, did you have lunch? What's the latest? Um, I thought I'd be able to just wing it, and then kinda sorta moved here without a bell to my name. So now I'm trying to set up my routine, and while well, bottom line is, I'm ultra broke. I could do some weaving or pick up stuff and sell it to Timmy, that might help. They give you like 10 coins. Per weed. I think I'm gonna coerce someone in the Discord to come and help me pick weeds. Oh yeah, if you're not in our Discord, definitely check out my Discord server. It's linked in the description, and that is where I get islands to visit for my videos, and that's where I chat with everyone, and that is where I'm going to open up Zinnia so that people can come and write on the billboard like I did for Antilia. It'll also be an opportunity for you all to bring me mile tickets and items if you want to. <laughs> Are you going to keep Blathers 10? Probably not. You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will, because, well, no, because you can't move Blather's tent once you place it, and that would bother me, because I have no idea where I'd want it in, like, the very beginning of the game. Let me go see what I'm supposed to be doing. I've got lilies? How did you know? Are you going to keep the museum as a tent or upgrade it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can see them! That is incredible. That is incredible. I literally have the same combination of things, including the starter jock that I had on my first ever island. This is like good vibes, good omens, good omens for the island as a whole. And Helga, I'm 22. I'll be 23 in September. Do you read physical books only or read digital books? I do both depending. I prefer reading physical copies um but i mean those can be expensive so if there's a good deal on a digital book i'll buy that instead you should write on the bulletin board i'll make a little high note bye likes i've gotta go is this live stream going to be on the live stream playlist yeah it should be i believe so as long as it renders correctly we're gonna delete this and this. We'll make a little note. Make a little note. Create. Hi. Besties. Incredible. Done. Okay. Is your Discord server really big? Uh, I think we have like 2,300 members or something like that, but it's not, um, it's not like overwhelmingly active or anything. You'll be fine. Everyone's so nice there. Hi, kawaii girl. Hi, Lex. Just joined. We restarted. Yay. Who are the starters? Hello, Anna. Thanks for joining. The starters today are Sylvia and Sprocket. If you know me, you know I can't stand Sprocket, but Sylvia's okay. I resisted the urge to restart. iBooks have Bridgerton books one through three as a bundle. Ooh. My, uh, my best friend in real life is reading the Bridgerton books. I'm sitting and bordering with my mom. Aw. <laughs> tell your mom I said hello. Hello, Michaela's mom. Also tell Ollie I said hi. I think that's the only... Oh no. Here's the bulletin board. Okay. Rumor mongering influencer. Oh my gosh. I start flattening my island now. Good luck, Anna. Okay, let's go see what we're supposed to be doing. Right now I'm watching an anime called Mira no Kaikata. It's wholesome. I really want to watch Fruits Basket. And hi, Alice. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Did you have any inspiration for the name Zinnia? I think I found it online somewhere in like a name list. I was looking for nice city names or island names, something like that. You can catch all kinds. I'd be most curious. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to bring him creatures. Okay. I found a creature. 
Does anyone know how to get the new flower basket? I'm not sure. Is it like a seasonal item that you can buy in nooks on a certain day? I'm reading Percy Jackson right now. I loved the Percy Jackson books when I was growing up. Are you excited that they're bringing the show? I think they're bringing it to Disney Plus. Disney is producing a new show, a uh, TV show version of Percy Jackson. So let's just pray that it's better than the movie was. Please watch Fruits Basket. I have some of the manga. I have books one through four. So I'm going to try to read it before I watch. I hear it is going to make me cry a lot. Oh my gosh. I don't cry very easily. Everyone's always like, yeah, that'll make you cry. And then I don't cry because I just, I don't, I'm not affected by fictional things, I guess. I prefer the manga. That's good to know. That's good to know. I'm going to start it soon. I'm currently working on the Demon Slayer manga. Um, I'm like on the 12th of 23 books or something like that. And I try to only read one manga and one fiction book like at a time. So, but I do want to do Fruits Basket next. I'm reading Shadow Hunters, like uh, the Bornal Instruments. I am rereading Shadow and Bone. Yes, I literally read Shadow and Bone like a month ago and it was so good. Also love the Netflix show. I haven't watched the Netflix show yet. But I need to. I'm going to be reading Six of Crows soon. I'm currently working on the Bear and the Nightingale series. I'm on book two. Look at Sprocket. You know what? Maybe he's cute. Maybe I'm just in a good mood. The, whole, the movie Beautiful Boy will make you cry. Beautiful Boy? I haven't heard of that. I'm reading Blue Exorcist. Yeah, I've seen that in uh, Books a Million and Barnes and Noble. I might binge watch Hunter Hunter later. Yeah, you should. Hey, I caught another fish. Bye, Andrea. Thank you for coming to the stream today. I caught a red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. I need to properly read the Mortal Instruments books. Yes, you should. Hi, Ethan. Thank you so much for coming to stream today. He is cute. Yes, please love him. We'll see, Michaela. We'll see. Okay, Bart, welcome to the Discord. Yeah, it is 13 plus, so if you're under 13, please do not join. I will have to, uh, I will have to kick you. I'm reading the Throne of Glass series. Feel free to message me about it. I've heard mixed reviews about it, and I kind of want to read it, but not if I'm going to hate it. I found a creature. We got that red snapper. You should watch The Promised Neverland. I just want to watch everything. What is your dreamies? So I really want Kiki for this island and I'm thinking... I haven't picked a sisterly villager that I like yet. I want to have Teddy because I didn't have him on Antilia like I planned to. Thoughts on Stitches. I love Stitches. He's precious. I have been. I'm such a liar. <laughs> Tom called me out. He says, is that so? Well, I suppose I haven't been paying much attention. I lied to you, King. I have not been using the DIY. The DIY bench. I might be able to come on later if you're still streaming. Bye. Okay, bye. If you're 12, you cannot join the Discord, Hannah. Discord's like official rules are 13 and up. I'm currently working on the Cruel Prince series. I loved the Cruel Prince series. I thought it was really good. Ooh, has Rowan read the mall, Terry? I'll have to ask. Bye, Tadpole. Thank you for coming today. I need to get some more uh, tree branches so we can make a net. Thoughts on Sky? I like Sky. I've never had her as a villager, but she's cute. She's cute. I like that she's like a pale blue color. Hey, we got a bell. You should get a Sanrio villager for this island. I'm thinking of getting Toby, because I had Marty on Antilia. Thoughts on Zucker? I'm not a fan of the Octopi, actually. Just in general. I think they're kind of... They're kind of a little bit creepy. I restarted recently was so happy to get Teddy. I love him. Yeah, my best friend also really loves Teddy. You're embroidering ketchup. Oh my gosh, Michaela. That's so cute. 
I want to read the bone season next. I'm not sure if I've heard of that. I just ran away from a scorpion. I forgot about them. <laughs> R.I.P. Amanda. I hope you're okay. Should I craft something? Let's make a net. What color is your airport? I already can't remember. Let's do it. Do you have a theme for this island? No, I do not. If you don't carry a, a net, the scorpions won't hurt you. That's true. That's true. I didn't realize that, so I was getting attacked by tarantulas all the time. There was another question I read that I wanted to answer and I've lost it now. I just started red, white, and royal blue. You're defaulting to romance. That's fair. That's fair. Sometimes it's hard to find a good quality fantasy book. Where is my airport? Is it exactly centered with my resident services? No, it's not. <sighs> Sad. Thoughts on Lobo. He's okay. He's okay. Okay, my airport is orange. Oh my gosh, I think that's the same color I had on Rivendell. I'm screaming. I think that was a patch because, or a, yeah, because in the beginning of the game they were definitely on site. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I didn't make it up because they really were, they really were attacking me. I haven't slept in three days. Yeah, definitely go sleep. Um, thank you so much for coming to the stream. Please get some rest. Look at us go. I have an outdoor hat. We're gonna wear that. And let's see what Nintendo sent us because I was distracted and I did not look. A simple DIY workbench. I think I'm about to restart my island right now, too. I can't believe I've started a trend of restarting today. This came up on my recommended. Ah, oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Lauren. I hope you do play Animal Crossing again. It do be fun. And thank you, Nikki, for subscribing. Fashion icon, uwu. I know, I know. Check me out. I'm really thriving here. I have the start of exam week tomorrow and I'm so nervous. Anna, I'm sure you'll do fine. Good luck with all of your uh, exams. I highly recommend anything by Neil Shusterman. Okay, wait, is he the, um, is he the horror writer who wrote frickin' uh, Darkness Creeping? Because I read those short stories and I really loved them. I found a creature. I keep being tempted to restart, but my island now isn't done. Yeah, that was me with Antilia. I wanted to restart so bad, but I was so, so determined to finish the island. I have to leave, but it was nice. Well, thank you for coming, Molly. A zebra, turkey, fish, indeed, indeed. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well? Yes, send it to Blathers. Lex, what is your favorite theme? I really like the supernatural theme, so like not cottage core, where it's like kind of organized, like you get the vibe that there's like picnics and stuff. I mean like full on overgrown, lush, natural islands. Those are my favorites, like jungle, uh, rainforest, anything like that. I think Amber, I think he also wrote Darkness Creeping. It's a lesser known book of his, but it was really good. Kayla, I'm racking my brain and all of a sudden can't remember that scene. Hello, Lex, Kato, and EJ are all streaming right now. Oh my gosh, are we? We really said Animal Crossing streams right now at 3 p.m. on whatever today is, a Sunday? Okay. I still have creatures to give this man. Let's go. I found a creature. It is a fish. Olive flounder. I thought I already gave him a seahorse. Do not read Song of Achilles. It is so sad. Sad is okay. Sad is okay. I've never finished an island. I can never seem to make them look nice. You're so great at creating things. Well, thank you, Shandy. I'm sure that your islands were also lovely. Sometimes I don't even like what I create. It's all about perspective. Are you a fan of shows like Friends? Okay, so hot take, but I feel like Friends has some really problematic ideas. 
I mean, it's not even a feeling, it just has problematic things, especially in the dialogue. So, like, I would watch it casually, but I wouldn't call myself a fan. I used to watch it at the at the gym, actually. It was like my workout show. Thoughts on Vivian? I think she's so elegant. She's such a sophisticated queen. Is your old island dream address available yet? Antilia will be available tomorrow. What did we name the new island? Zinnia. And thank you, Rebecca. I love you as a viewer. We really do be continuing to give him creatures. I wish you could give them as a haul. 100% about friends. Yeah, it do be it do be kind of a mess. <laughs> I absolutely love Jennifer Aniston though. Like would lay down my life for her. I made it to the party. Hello, Nicole. Thank you for coming. I just spent 50 Nook Miles tickets hunting and still didn't find Tabby. Oh no. I'm glad you're looking for Tabby though. She's an underrated queen. Lolly, Anka, and Ruby are all in my plaza doing zoomies. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Thoughts on Mary. Actually, Mary is one of my villagers on my new, new leaf town. I don't know if my island is done. Not sure what's left to do. Yeah, I feel that with, um, whatchamacallit, Antilia. I was like, is it done? And I'm gonna say yes. That's what it was! Whoever asked me what inspired the name, Azinia is a type of flower. Brittany just reminded me when she said that there are Zinnias in the patio garden. Yeah, that's where I got it. I was looking up floral names. Should I get Coco? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ross and Rachel were so toxic. I think what bothered me was the fat phobia surrounding Monica's childhood. Or, I mean, that's one of the things that it really bothered me. I'm so jealous you got to meet the author. Oh my gosh, of the book Cersei. I really want to read that. I'm with a customer right now. Let's go. I think we're going to have the museum. <clears throat> Will you be upgrading Blather's tent? I don't know. Probably, because I uh, usually put my buildings on the beach and I don't want the museum to be on the beach forever. And yes, it is Zinnia, small bean. I restarted my island a couple weeks ago. I don't know what theme I should do for my next island. You should do... I don't even know what kind of themes you like. Um, I'm going to go with... Tropicor. You should do Tropicor. We're going into summer. It's exciting in the northern hemisphere. That's fair. They also really did stereotype women in that show. Coco, it's awesome. I need a third island so I can have her. Who are Who is on your other two islands? Who is on your first two? Cersei is so good. Ooh. I'll add it to my to be read list if it's not already on there. Do you have any tips for cottage core islands? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever made one that's technically cottage core. I'm gonna put the museum right here. Ka ciao. Should I go for Melba or Vivian? I think that Melba is very cute. Very, very cute. Who are your other normals, Cookie? Ross had absolutely no character growth. <laughs> You, uh, you said it, not me. My island is called Zinnia, Ross. I restarted two weeks ago and I'm going to do cottage core. That sounds exciting. Bye, Michaela. Thank you so much for attending today. I have Sky Lobo, Vivian, Renee, Lucky, Mallory, Ketchup, Raymond, Amelia, and finally Fauna. That's a good lineup. What's the plan for the island? Basically, today we're just casually playing. Let's see. It's perfect. It's almost time for a new island for me, and I'm trying to decide. All girl island? I can't do that because I have to have all the personalities. Like, I just have to. Any tips for natural kind of overgrown park themed islands? Lots of weeds. Use lots of weeds and look at all of the different, um, like, very natural items in the game. They can really add, like, log stakes, things of that nature. 
Does the name have a meaning? I just named it after a flower, actually. Okay, so we've got... Is that all we can do today? I've got the museum set up. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for blathers to set up. Well, I don't mean to rush you, but there's the small matter of your move-in fees. Putting in some work to chip away at those is always time well spent if you ask me. Okay, something I was considering is leaving my house at the starter house, like not the tent, but the first house upgrade where you have the little bushes on either side. I think that is so cute. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe doing that, just not upgrading my house. And the only con to that would be not having storage, but I'm okay with that, honestly. Let's see what I could get enough miles for right now. Should I do cottage core or farm core? I think farm core sounds interesting. Not me literally exiting out as soon as I get on here. I'm on AC and a villager just asked for a hot dog costume. Will they be wearing it if I give them the costume? Probably, Camila. I think that's how it works. Tom Nook loan shark in a way, honestly. I'm trying to remember the quickest way to get to the 5,000 Nook miles. Planting flowers. I can't buy flowers yet, can I? Nook miles based on the amount of fruit you've sold. What else do I have? We've got the bug. Earn miles just for catching. Oh, I haven't caught any bugs yet. I'm two cats away from an all-cat island. Mega respect. You could also make a second character and they could have a little house. I want to do that, but I also have never made a second character. I don't want to have like a guest account on my Switch. What's your thoughts on my island's name? I named it Frederick. I love that. That's hilarious. I, I love ironic names. Like I named one of my kittens one time Bartholomew. Get it? Because Mew. Ha. <laughs> no, the fruits are going to disappear. Okay. Do you have a least favorite island theme? I don't think so. I can really appreciate all of them. I think they're all really unique and cool. Pick up all the gold tools. Yeah, I don't have gold tools right now, though. Am baby. I can buy flowers already? Might do that. I'm shaking these cherries down so I can sell them to Timmy. It's not like I need these bad boys. You should have someone bring gold tools, loads of miles for picking them up. I might just bring them over from uh, from Lorien. Like, I can visit this island from my Switch Lite and let myself hold the gold tools. That's what I did on um, Antilia, I think. The second character could be- oh my gosh, wait, that's precious. Then it wouldn't be a guest account, it would be Peach. She'd probably love that too if I let her, like, decorate part of the island. My villagers are just an amalgamation of the villagers I like and the ones that fit my theme. Yeah, I feel like that's how Antilia was for me. Some of them were just because I really liked them, like Pashmina and uh, Marty weren't really for the Antilia theme. Plant one cherry. Ooh, true. I can get the one of the fruits. I need a shovel, though. I don't have a shovel yet. I'm on a cottage core island and Eric wants to replace Fauna. I like Eric more than I like Fauna. But it's totally up to you. If you prefer Fauna, I'd say do it. My native flowers are lilies, Cassie. I love the cat villagers so much. What are your thoughts on Bob? I like Bob. I have him on Lorien. I watched a video before I ever started Animal Crossing. I was trying to decide like what villagers I should look forward to. And so I was looking at the... No, it was after I started because I had just gotten punchy and I was so excited. He was the first cat I ever found on a mystery island. So I looked up a video to see how the cats were rated. And it seems like Bob was the most popular of the cat villagers. He was the fan favorite. Thoughts on murder mystery islands. I think they're super cool. I've never actually been to one, but I think it's really creative and it takes a lot of effort to make an island like that. It's thunderstorming on your island. That's kind of cool. Thunderstorms are like really rare for me, but I would love to see one. I would have loved to have seen one on Antilia. I just started a new Kid Core Island. You're already at five stars and you j you started less than a week ago? Ashley, you are a trooper. You are going. 
The game really wants you to redo your first. Honestly, it really does want me to just recreate Antilia. Everything is the same. I have Punchy and I love him. Me too. He is so cute. I love his little like half-lidded eyes. He looks so lazy, so fitting. Who is your favorite villager? Mine is Kiki. She reminds me of my real cat, Rolly. Hi, Coco. Can I swim to the back of the island and see what's there? Well, I mean, we know the native flower is Lily, so I don't know what else we'd discover back there, really. Punchy is baby. Yes, he is. He is so baby. My cat in real life is also very baby. I went to a crazy cool mystery island. They had a Google document of different journal entries. That is incredible. I don't want to restart, so what should I do? I don't know. I always just restart. You could always flatten, but that would really defeat the purpose, I guess, of finishing the island. What happened to your other island in Dilia? I deleted it. I deleted it at the beginning of this stream. Any suggestions for being able to terraform? It's my first time playing. So you have to reach a three star island rating. You can check my channel. I have different videos where I do that. But basically you just need to place a lot of items, plant flowers on your island. As you get to decorating, you'll unlock three stars and that's when you can start terraforming. Just a three star rating. That's why I love Kiki too. My black kitty is a boy, but it works anyway. Yeah, same. Rolly is a is a young man. He is a little baby boy cat. My favorite villager is Annabelle the Ant Eater. Wow, I've never I don't think I've ever heard someone like really liking the ant eaters. I keep trying to use my tool ring and forgetting that I don't have that yet. I wish it was more difficult to get the five stars. See, for me it is because I use so many trees. My islands are almost never five stars. I had five stars before a third of my island was done. Yeah, see, I always hit five stars and then I lose it because I add so many trees. Are you still doing a final Antilia tour? Yeah, I already filmed it. It'll be live tomorrow. We'll watch the rest of the stream tomorrow when it's been uploaded. Okay, thank you for joining for so long today. I really want to restart and make a new island, but I don't want to lose all of my items and DIYs. Yeah, that does suck, but at the end of the day for me, I kind of enjoy recollecting. My cat is called Jack and he is a two-year-old tuxedo. I love that. What a cutie. Thank you, I didn't want her to wear a hot dog costume. Yeah, that makes sense. You should do more terraforming tutorials. You know, Haley, I really want to, but I'm not sure what you all would be interested in seeing. Definitely let me know if there's something specific you'd like to see in terms of terraforming tutorials. The way I absolutely cannot catch this common butterfly is that what it is? It's a yellow butterfly. You do love your trees. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Trees are bad for your island. No. No, they're not. Oh, yes, yes. They can affect... Okay, so basically there's a limited number of trees you can have on your island. And when you reach a certain number, it'll start to detract from your star rating. So, like, you'll go from 5 to 4 if you have more than, like, 208 or 212, something like that. It's like a solid number that you can't go past, or it'll take away from your island rating. I'm struggling for a theme on my island at the moment. You should explore different themes. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you for coming today. I hope you have a beautiful day. I have a black cat and a tuxedo, and they are sisters. I love that for you, Brittany. Oh my gosh, little babies. Also, I got your letter yesterday. Peaches loves her drawing, and she also really appreciated the Kit Kats, so thank you. <laughs> we'll be sending along another letter very soon. When I restarted, I cheated a little and dumped all my Nook Miles tickets and bells on my husband's island. Yeah, I did that for all of my islands up to now, but for this one, I just started fresh. I guess technically I could just share things from Lorien, but I don't really have extra Nook Miles tickets there at the moment, because I like don't collect anymore since I have my dreamies. Stunted trees don't count, Terry? That's groundbreaking news. Also not me spending stream picking the weeds. Isn't this enjoyable, you guys? Hee <laughs> hee. 
I'd be interested to see how you construct your scenic views. I feel like it can be difficult to get the distances and heights right. You know, I'm still working on getting distance and height right, honestly. Like, especially for things like my museum in Antilia, I feel like it's a little bit too far from the bridge that I created. So I'm gonna try to redo some kind of scenic view here. I'm catching so many bugs. Legendary. I've popped nearly 100 balloons and haven't gotten the most parasol DIY. Are you in autumn right now? Are you uh, southern hemisphere? We got weeds everywhere. We have kittens at school and one is black and one is tuxedo. I named the tuxedo one Bean. Oh my gosh. I used to have a cat called Lima. Like Lima Bean. I tried jungle, but then I watched your Antilia videos and fell in love with the overgrown look. Honestly, I feel like overgrown matches really well with jungle anyway. Thank you, Enrique. I appreciate you being here. I agree. It is therapeutic. I quite enjoy the beginning of the game when there are so many weeds. One of my best friends actually recently got Animal Crossing, and I was at her island yesterday picking weeds. People are all hemispheres, yes. I time travel to auto because it's my theme. That makes sense. I am late to the party. Have you restarted? Yes, I have. Here we are on the new island, Xenia. Cottage core, forest core, spring core, farm core, tropic core, and jungle core. Those are some of my favorite themes, Terry. There are so many weeds at the beginning. If you put a climbing wall backwards against a cliff, it makes a two-story wall. Honestly, the climbing walls were game changers. I mean, they've been in the game since the beginning, I'm pretty sure, but... Definitely amazing. I need Antilia's DA. It's coming tomorrow! Keep an eye on my Instagram and my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be releasing the dream address tomorrow. It's already available to channel members, though. It is indeed. Had to have some DA testers, and thank goodness for that. Can you do a video of 15 different lookouts? Ooh, yeah, that could be my next uh, 15 ideas video. I'm doing peers currently. I think I have 12 peers so far. How do you pick your mods? Honestly, I think I'm going to be doing a new, um, a new, whatchamacallit soon, a form, just so I can have a few more mods so that not all of them have to be present every time, but basically I just, you ask to be a mod. I'll make a form of some sort and put it in the Discord, but I do require it to be 18 or older. Can you, oh, I already read that. Nice, I love a restart. That whole new start, everything new again. Love it. Yeah, me too. Yes, Brittany, please tell me what the flavors were. We re uh, we tried like four of them yesterday and Peaches' favorite was the purple one. And miraculously, they were not melted. Hello, Noga. We got so many weeds. I need bells really bad. I think after this stream, I'm gonna hop in the Discord and see if anyone wants to come over to Xenia. Um, again, if you missed it, the Discord server is linked in the description, but if you check out the Discord server, I think I'm gonna hop there today and let people come to Xenia to write notes on the bulletin board and, you know, just chill. There's nothing to mess up here. It's a fresh new island. Thank goodness you're doing piers. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even decorate until it just pier. Did I get everything over here? I think so. I'm gonna go sell this stuff to Mr. Timmy. I have no idea how to describe my theme other than Victorian core. That sounds fascinating. Hi, Ramen. Thank you so much for uh, coming to the stream. I really just stopped halfway through that sentence. <laughs> Timmy, please buy my things. Space is limited right now, but we'll have, we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items. I'll take a look. I'll bite. Okay. There's nothing here that I want. How much are the swimsuits? 3,000. I have 100 bells. Japanese for purple sweet potato. Interesting. 
How do you select your island names? They're always so pretty. Thank you, Emily. So Antilia was the name of an actual legendary island, kind of like uh, Atlantis. This was a similar legendary island. So Antilia does exist, at least in lore, um, in real life. And then Zinnia is the name of a flower. I usually just look up different things. I'll help you pick up weeds if you get sick of it. Thank you. Thank you. I want to sell. Do you recommend doing a shopping district first or a neighborhood first? I think it depends on how you're structuring your island, like which one is going to be more significant for your island as a whole. Let's sell these bad boys. I could also sell the Animal Crossing Switch, honestly. I wonder if I'd get a lot for that. That would be so rude, though. I don't want to restart right now because I'm nowhere near done, but I spend so much time wishing I had peaches as my native fruit. I feel like after you get a little far in the game, it doesn't matter because you could just replace all your trees with, um, with peaches anyway. Oh my gosh, I have 6,000 bells. Yes. We get in that swimsuit. Who is your map? Um, let me, dang it, I didn't mean to talk to him again. I'm gonna show you on my map and then we'll go for a swim. If I can see it. Yes, I can. Okay. Here is the map. That's what we got. That's what we're working with. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it's pretty cool. Is Tropical are kind of like a resort theme? Did I buy a swimsuit from this man? No, I did not. Okay. We'll go for a little swim. Not sell. I really said incapable of pressing the right button. Recently been subbed to your channel and it's amazing. Thank you so much, Heidi. I find picking weeds and watering flowers really relaxing. I agree, Brittany. I got really tired of watering flowers when I was flower breeding, though. On my original island, I bred all of the flowers in the game. And I got so tired. Lex, are you on your Discord at the moment? No, I am not. Should I be? Let's see, we're getting a swimsuit. It's hard for me to multitask. Oh my gosh, Kato Raid! Hello everyone! Thank you for joining! Thank you for coming to my stream! That's so cute. Hee <laughs> hee. I appreciate you all being here. We love to see it. We love Kato here in the Lex community. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Jacinia, Ruby, Holly. Welcome, welcome. We just started a new island here. So currently I am buying a swimsuit. Hello, Kato. Thank you so much for bringing your viewers here. I appreciate you so much. You never know what kind of sea creatures might be lurking. We're gonna swim around and see the other parts of the island because that's a major life hack. If you started after the wetsuit was added to the game you can like see other parts of the island i've never had like a raid since it's youtube this is so precious hello from the spud squad hello hello i think that's all we're gonna buy for now we're gonna head out we're gonna go hang out in the water i love the overlay thank you so much I'm super excited about it. Um, I just bought this one on Etsy. And thank you so much to all the new subscribers. I hope you enjoy your time here. We've got Sylvia over here. For those of you who are new to the stream, our new island is called Zinnia and the starter villagers were Sylvia and Sprocket, my mortal enemy, but that's okay. And this is the map we're working with. So here we are. We are just vibing. We're going to go for a swim. And otherwise, I think we're pretty much done, like, setting up the island, I guess. I do want to take this hat off while we take a dip. What's your favorite theme? Honestly, I feel like no theme is my favorite. No expectations. I scared the fish. What's the theme going to be for this island? I think that we are going to be doing no theme it's just gonna be kind of whatever i'm feeling at the moment but the vibes i'm kind of feeling the aesthetic i want to go for is uh like a town i guess like a nice little town kato and i both got sylvia indeed and yes i got sprocket again basil i did 
that's something I did. Let's see, we missed the whole island reset. Well, it was very quick. I'm gonna let this live stream post to my channel, so if you want to see me delete Antilia, it'll be at the very beginning of this stream once it's posted. Thank you for the reminder, Jacinia. Yeah, if any of you haven't liked the stream, likes are very appreciated. Help me grow my audience. Look at us and our major hacks getting to the side of the island already. Thank you, Alyssa. Hi, how are you? If any of you don't know, Alyssa is an absolute queen. She designed so many of the dresses that I wear in my videos, like absolute icon. My mom once accidentally scared away a shark. Yeah, I've done that before too, I think. When do you release the tour of Antilia? I'm gonna release it tomorrow, actually. So tomorrow at about 10.30 in the morning, Eastern time, the video should go live. I still have to edit it, actually. I'm being very bold. But yeah, I'm planning on posting it tomorrow with the dream address. I would love to become a mod when that time comes. Yeah, if you're 18 plus, feel free to apply. I'll put an application form in the server. You can apply to be a mod either for my streams on my channel or in the Discord server itself or both. Do you have Sanrio items for this aisle? I don't, but I do have the amiibo card, so I'll just amiibo everyone in so I can order the items that I want. I definitely want to get the Sanrio outfits for sure. I might actually go grab the amiibo cards. We can amiibo some of them to uh, Harv's Island. Although I do have to wait for him to visit. I missed the beginning. What's this new island called? It's called Zinnia. Named after a flower. Sell the shells. Oh my gosh, that's genius. I'm over here getting so many freaking weeds. The shells would do so much better. Lex, do you have a Discord? I do. It is linked in the description for this stream. Alyssa's Island Juniper is one of my favorites ever. Yes, I agree. If any of you want to see Juniper, I did tour it on my channel. So it's in the ACNH Island Tours playlist. Thank you, Zach, for sending the Discord invite. Where can I find you on Discord? You should see the Discord invite there or in, um, in the description so you can join that way. And Alyssa, yes, I've missed seeing you. I'm so glad that school is over for you. I hope you can have a very chill summer. I feel like you're always productive, but you can still, we can still have a great time here in the streams. Shells are so good for money. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is your favorite video game? So I feel like I play, I just missed a shell. I feel like I play Animal Crossing the most, but I also really adore, um, I like games like Dead Cells, I play that on Switch, and then growing up I played a lot of Call of Duty, so. Hello Weird Stitch, welcome to the stream. Right now we're kind of sourcing some bells, I'm very broke, just restarted. My number two dreamy is in my campsite, but they don't fit my cottage for it. It's Sherb. Definitely take Sherb. He is so cute. Ali Allison, he is precious. Brittany, that sounds like a deal. I will be opening up after the stream, I think. Although I might also cook first. Haha. <laughs> Let's go sell these bad boys. I can also swim over to the other side of the island. I want Monster Rise Hunter so, 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 so much. I haven't heard of that. Do you still play Spirit Fair? I started playing it after I saw it on your channel. Oh my gosh. I haven't played it in a while, but I do love that game. I need to get back into it. I feel like it's so easy to just move back into. I also talked to Tom Nook instead of Timmy. Am I bad at multitasking? I grew up with it as well. Yeah, Call of Duty was so fun. I used to love doing just the multiplayer stuff, like Infected, those games. Had a weird day, but your stream is making me so calm. I'm so glad. Welcome. Can I buy anything important here? I can buy flowers. Let's plant some flowers. We have lilies, tulips, and roses. I think we're gonna go roses. 
What's your star sign? Mine is Cancer. Mine is Virgo. I miss the cater red. Anyways, hi Lex. Hello, Alex. Okay, we can plant those and hopefully work towards getting some more nook miles. Please don't hesitate to ask me for assistance. We're gonna sell these seashells to you, Timmy. I don't know what that is, Ellie Chun. I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't like, is it a show or a game? Let's see, seashells and weeds. We are selling these bad boys. Hi Lex, I'm back. Hello Ashley, welcome back. How is Peaches? Peaches as well. I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but she uh, she's currently at the pool with our parents. Hello Storm Bunny, thank you for attending the stream today. I got Coco on the second ticket, that is so lucky. How do you find the ideas for your island? I spend so much time on Animal Crossing social media that I'm like constantly consuming inspiration. But I mean, a lot of the time I literally just go buy items that I have, whatever I could possibly put on my island. I'll just go with that, I'll just run with it. Let's plant some flowers by the entrance. These are red tulips. And then we'll put some by resident services. Is there a good way to get KK on my island? Isabel is not helping me. Um, honestly, I just listened to Isabel, so I don't know. Uh, you definitely, it's easy to get to three stars if you put a lot of furniture out. So I'm talking like, just pl even if you're not putting them as part of a long-term build, like just temporarily place a ton of furniture items on your island and that'll really help boost your island rating. Does Peaches have Animal Crossing? No, she does not, but she occasionally plays on mine. Very rarely, but she does. She just likes to fish. That's like the only reason she wants to play. She likes to fish and she likes to talk to the villagers. Like, she likes to visit Lost Falls via Dream Address so she can talk to Frobert because he's her favorite. I named my new island, my new island, incredible. I named my new island, uh, Zinnia. It's named after a flower. Oh, I'm glad you're playing too. We're all playing Animal Crossing together. Let's see. I need to get some more shells, probably. You know, honestly, Dragon, for Antilia to unlock, I put all of my items in one location right beside resident services and it counted them. Like I put some fencing and like 30 furniture items just right beside the plaza and they were like, yep, three stars, congratulations. Thank you again to everyone who's been subscribing Moonbloon right now, all of you, I really appreciate you. Will you have some Let's Play on your channel for Zenia? Yes, I will. Yeah, I'm gonna do some of the first days, kind of go over what I am doing on the island. I'm gonna try not to time travel at all. If you put a chip bag custom design on the cushion, it makes an actual bag of chips. That's cute. I can picture it. I can picture it. You need to have eight villagers to get three stars. I think that is indeed correct. I feel I've seen so many different, uh... So many different ideas, like some people told me that you need to have two inclines and two bridges, but then I looked it up and you don't even have to have one incline or one bridge. Hello Tristan, thank you for coming to the stream, I'm doing well, how are you? I miss when the Nooklings were wandering the island, they're so cute. I know, I love it when Tommy is walking around in the beginning with his little, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the little orange flag. I'm in the middle of tearing down Waffle in its entirety. Oh my gosh. That's exciting though. We're building new islands together. I'm currently moving flowers so I can properly terraform. One side of my island is overrun with flowers. Yeah, it do be like that. I feel like if you leave any length of time and you have flowers on your island, they're overgrown completely. Yeah, I will work on getting to three stars, Amanda. I'm gonna do my best. 
Okay, Suki, thank you so much for attending. Definitely keep an eye on the Discord. I'll list there if I am opening up. Hello, Leo, I missed you all. Oh, it's been so long since I streamed, but I finally got my new computer set up. So hopefully we'll be able to regularly stream again. I'm gonna try to regularly stream on Saturdays. I couldn't yesterday because I was super busy, but that should be my schedule going forward. I find it so hard not to time travel. Me too, but only because I'm so used to time traveling. The first time I played the game, I didn't time travel at all. Like I got to three stars and everything completely without time traveling. But now that I've played the game multiple times, I feel like it's okay to time travel. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out on the genuine experience anymore. I'm scared to check Juniper's situation. Yeah, the flowers probably everywhere. How do I make my parents buy me a Switch? You saved up the money, but they say no. Why? I feel like Switches are so fun. Bye, Sophie. Thank you for coming to the stream today. I'm finishing my island calico. I'm excited. I'm just stuck on the beaches. Yeah, if you go to Antilia's room address when I release it, the beaches are simply not full. Like, I mean, they're decent. Like, I decorated some of them. They're fine, but definitely not... Definitely not, like, full of furniture. Rumor has it Brewster and Cap'n are tied up in the back of resident services, and Tom Nook gives Isabel alcohol to get her drunk. To make her forget they're there. Allison, I don't know where you're hearing this, but that is very ominous. My aisle name is Honey Bay, and it's Cottage Core and Forest Core. I've never time traveled, so I feel it's cheating, sort of. I don't think it's cheating. I don't think time traveling is cheating. I feel like everyone plays the game differently, however they feel most comfortable. Thank you for joining the Discord! I'm going to finish the museum and all the nook goals, and then I'm going to restart. Man, could not be me. Could not be me. I don't think I've ever completed a museum, despite the fact that I've had several islands and like I had a Rivendell for a long time. I was really serious about it at first, like I caught all of the fish and bugs for last spring and summer. But once I deleted Rivendell, I don't think I like earnestly tried again. I'm gonna try to finish my museum on Lorien since it's like my permanent island. Ooh, Terry got to three stars with seven villagers. Yeah, I don't, maybe you don't have to have the full eight. It's a delicate balance for sure. Hi, Jackie! Thank you for coming to the stream! Everything's going well so far. We're just picking weeds, picking fruits. I'm excited to get started with this island. I'm gonna try to stream some builds instead of doing all of my builds as speed builds as, like, videos on my channel. So hopefully we'll see some build streams soon. I found your Discord. Yay! <laughs> It would bother me for the date and time not to be accurate. See, Anna, that was my problem at first. I got so annoyed, but now it doesn't bother me as much. I try to keep it on the correct date for, like, events and stuff, so I'll just move. Because I never really go super far from where it is in real time, so, like, if I have to go back a week or so, I'll just do that to participate in the time-locked events. I'm trying to finish the dinosaurs, but the games only want me to have... But the game only wants me to have dino poop. I love that for you. I think I finished my fossils on um, on Lorien by buying a ton of unassessed ones on Nookazon because people sell them for super cheap. So I would just get a lot of those and boom, eventually after like several like full inventories of unassessed fossils, I would finally get them. Oh no, are you lagging Jam Cam? Mine isn't lagging currently where I have my little stream set up from another account. You don't need eight, you need seven, I see. Where? What's your new theme going to be? Not sure, not sure. I'm not gonna really have like a set theme. Can I see what layout you've chosen? I missed you restarting. Yes, for sure, Jackie. Here is my layout for the island. Oh, you have Sherb and Broccolo is gone, Allison. Cool. I personally actually like Broccolo. I feel like if I got him, I would keep him. But yeah, that's the layout today. 
I think this island has some cool natural waterscaping. Do you know what theme you're doing? No theme, no theme. We're just not gonna limit ourselves. We're gonna go with the flow. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have that butterfly. Come back. How many things can you catch with the flimsy tools? Like 10? No, my bad aim. I just want the butterfly. There we go. Can you restart the router? Oh yeah, Jam's having Wi-Fi problems. You have to have at least seven houses to get three stars. I see, I see. When I started Lorien, I like definitely did a speed run to get to three stars. And I think I got three stars in less than 24 hours after I restarted. I was like on a roll that day. <laughs> Can we have enough in the chat for Broccolo? Yes, please. Poor Broccolo. Gone, but not forgotten. My second island had a natural, pretty big heart pond. I don't want to get rid of it, but it's in my way. You could always recreate it elsewhere, but I know it is kind of cool when your island naturally spawns something that's really beautiful. I want to get all the Nook miles stamped before I restart. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a completionist in that sense, but I definitely understand it. Hi Lex, just joined. I'm pooped because I just came home from a long field hockey tournament. That's really cool, Noelle. Thank you for being here. We have restarted today, so I'm on my new island of Zinnia, and we're just kind of cleaning up the island, getting it ready for speed builds and such. I don't want to time travel today, like I'm trying to take this island slow, so we're just kind of doing what we can do on the first day. Am I- is my inventory full? Almost. I have a small area in front of my residential services, but no idea since it's close to the beach. Any ideas? My theme is tropical core. A small area in front of resident services. I don't know. I've never really attempted like a solid tropical island. I'm heading to bed now, but I'm going to watch your full stream tomorrow. Sounds amazing, Jackie. Thank you so much. Have a nice night of sleep. I'm going to throw some random flowers down here. that was my last one i think i got a nook miles stamp now will you be streaming when you go on villager hunts yes those are my favorite times to stream i feel like villager hunts are so like kind of boring not gonna lie when you're alone but they're so fun streaming because everyone like weighs in about all of the different uh all of the different villagers hi Anna. hi lex i just woke up 30 minutes ago how's the new island coming along it's going well it's going well so far. We've got a lot going on. Not really, but I did get sprocket, so that's really depressing. Pick of the bunch. I'm flattening my island because I just got terraforming and Wendy is doing yoga and I love her. I love that for her. We have the same shape on the island. Ours is peach. That's cool. Tiki bar. That would be cute. That would be cute. You could also have like a surf, like surfboard set up you could have a, like tiki torches on either side of resident services like the entrance i'm trying to think of other cute things i've seen it's just a little patch of sand with like a sand castle the sad part is him and beardo had the same palettes and were best buddies oh poor beardo you could tell him to leave too just kidding, that's rude. Why didn't you keep restarting till you got good starters? Because I didn't want to. I got a lot of Nook Miles stamps without realizing it. When are you planning on starting to make videos of this island? Immediately, immediately. I'll do some Let's Plays and once I actually unlock terraforming, we'll start building. I really do want to try to take this slow, so we'll see how it goes in terms of like how fast I end up unlocking terraforming. I really want to do it organically. Yeah, Brittany, I don't have the hairstyles unlocked yet, but I'm gonna give myself back my curly hair soon. It's the worst when you're flattening your island and all your villagers want to hang out where you're working. Yeah, literally the villagers only want to hang out with me when I'm doing something that they can't like, be involved in. 
Oh, Dolly, I'm sorry work is stressful today. I'm glad this can be a break for you. I just got Coco a few days ago, and I didn't think I would like her, but I ended up really liking her. Coco is precious. You know, at first, I found her on one of my very first ever, um... Aw, oh, he's just gonna tell me to get my moving keys. I found her on one of my first ever mystery islands, and I was like, oh, she's creepy. I do not like her. And then I got her on Antilia and adored her. Oh, a small garage band. That would definitely fit Cherry's house, though. I'm so excited for this new island. This will be the first time I've been a subscriber at the start of a new island. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, you'll get to see the island made in its entirety. I hope you enjoy. My starter villagers RFK are Sprocket and Sylvia. Sylvia is a kangaroo and Sprocket is like the robot ostrich. Sylvia is alright, but we do not, we do not like Sprocket. I really want to get all these nook miles so I can get my house going. They always sit in the worst places, I know, I know. Lex, can I have ideas for my summer neighborhood island? You know, Kevin, I did make a video where I had, like, all kinds of neighborhood ideas, so maybe that would help you out. Angling for perfection. How many fish? I need four more fish. One of the gulls. Okay, have I not spoken to Sylvia yet today? I wonder where she is. Wow, I can't believe I'm catching a stream live. Hello, Nico! I'm glad you made it today. Oh, here's a shell. Thank you, Poppy Winston, for subscribing. Oh, there's Sylvia. There's Sylvia. My friend had Coco when the game first came out, and I thought she was very scary, and now here I am with her on mine. I know. I know. Yo, Lex, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. You're welcome, queen. We've got to look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Cute. The worst feeling is when your favorite villager's house doesn't match your island at all. I know. I know. That's how I feel with Kiki, because I love Kiki, but her house is, like, not it. I'm new here. Honestly, the beginning of the game is probably the best part. It's so relaxing. Anyways, marry or Audie anyone? I don't know who to villager hunt for today. I love Audie so much, but I also love every cat villager, so... Both. My starter villagers are Pashmina and Axel. Those are such good starters. Pashmina is so amazing. I think, isn't Axel an elephant? I'm, like, pretty neutral toward him, but Pashmina is amazing so excited for the wedding season i know the new wedding items really are amazing like i think they're so so precious especially like the nuptial bell it really rejuvenized the game the name of this island is zinnia now you love kiki and i love drake oh my gosh Kiki, do you love me? Pashmina was my starter and she's never left. I've never had Pashmina as a starter, but I've had Deirdre, I think, twice. Deirdre? Deirdre? I always say it wrong. Where did that come back here? No, please, dragonfly, I need you. Yes! Bye, Lex, I gotta go. Okay! Bye, AC and H12 and Alex. We got this darner dragonfly. Oh no, I have too much stuff. Let's drop some uh, weeds. Wait, I'll drop- no, I can learn that. I'll drop these twigs, learn the DIY, and then pick the bug back up. I am a genius. My starters on my new island are Cat and Frobert. Oh my gosh, I love both of them. I had Cat and Frobert on Lost Falls. They are so cute. Hello, I have missed these live streams. Me too, Serata. I really miss live streaming. I'm so glad that I'm finally able to again. I think the problem before the fact that like my streams were lagging near the end was that my laptop just wasn't powerful enough and I was also on Wi-Fi which is like not ideal for streaming, but I have an actual PC now and I have 
an ethernet cable. So hopefully that sorts everything out. Oh, bye B. Thank you so much for coming today. We're going to sell a lot of this stuff. Bye. Bye bye. Not that. Okay. Can I give Tom Nook more? No, I can't give him more creatures. I should just save them for blathers. What is the fastest way to make bells? I think diving, probably, if you're at the beginning of the game. Or at any part, really, because the die, like, if you dive, the sea creatures give a significant amount of bells, which, speaking of that, I should probably try diving. Ooh, Ashley, so you missed last wedding season. I think the wedding season is pretty cool. It can get exhausting doing the same thing every day just to get the items, but it's still cute. My starters were Agnes and Teddy. I wish Teddy was my starter. He's who I want on this island as my jock, I mean. I feel pretty meh toward Agnes. She's like one of the favorite sisterlies though, I think. Bye, Jam. Thanks for coming today. Let's do some diving here. Are you planning on doing more streams? Yes, no. I really hope to make it a regular thing every Saturday, hopefully. Ooh, are you getting lag, RFK? Mine's fine on my end, where I'm watching it from, like, my personal, uh, my personal YouTube. So it might be just a Wi-Fi thing. Let's go. I'm playing Animal Crossing and I thought your Nook Miles notification was mine. <laughs> it is kind of loud, the little, uh, little Nook Miles notifications. My starters were Iggly and Phoebe. Those are cute. I just got Teddy yesterday with eight tickets. That is really lucky. Who's your favorite lazy? Mine is Mo. My favorite lazy is probably Punchy. I had Sprocket as a starter on Waffle. Alyssa, Sprocket was my starter on my first island ever. Ah, oh, Caroline, thank you so much for the super chat. I don't know how much longer we're going to be streaming. Probably not too long. We're at the two hour mark right now. <laughs> That's okay, Grace. Um, But yeah, we're at two hours now and we've pretty much done everything we can do. Right now we're just working on getting Nook Miles. So I guess when we hit the 5,000 Nook Miles and I can actually pay for my house, we'll call it quits for the day. I'm trying to figure out like the easiest way to do that. My starters were Renee and Rold. I love Rold. Oh. I think the horses have an awkward design, so it kind of like creeps me out for some reason. But that's like a me thing. Mine were Igly and Sylvia. Igly is really cute, not gonna lie. We're gonna travel down the edge of my island here. Are you gonna keep this up on YouTube or delete it afterwards? I'll keep it up. I'll keep the stream up. I only deleted the ones that got like super laggy super fast. Because I was like, well, that's not gonna be helpful on YouTube anyway. I got Fang with seven tickets the other day. Oh. Fang was the first Cranky that I really wanted, but then I got him and he didn't really vibe with my island, so I let him go. I really like Wolfgang, though. Bye, Enrique! Thank you so much for coming to the stream today. And RFK, yes, I'm gonna post the Antilia tour tomorrow. My starters were Renee the Rhino, not the horse, and Flip. Renee is still with me, but I let Flip go pretty quick. He just had a little too much chill for me. Um, I can't remember who Flip is right now. Sylvia and Snake were mine. I think Snake is so cute. He gives me, like, awkward vibes. He's such an awkward young man. No! The grasshopper really kerplunked right into the ocean. My starters were Pashmina and Rudy. I just love them. Oh, Rudy is so precious. I think my favorite jocks- no, don't hit. I think my favorite jocks are Rudy and Frobert. Let's go sell these sea creatures. I love being able to watch old streams. Yeah, I do, uh, 
I do try to keep my streams up except the ones that messed up badly. Purple Unilever? I thought Frobert was pretty chill. And hi Jack, thank you so much for coming today. I hope you get some good rest. I hope your tests went well. I got Flip and Paula as starters. I didn't even know there was a villager named Paula. My starters were average, but my first camper was Raymond. Wow, I always get the worst campers. Like I got Hans once and I really don't like him. Who else did I get? I got Rodney on Antilia. He was my first campsite villager. Mott and Mira. I can't remember who Mott is, but Mira is very cute. Myra, Mira. I really want the right house for my starters, so I've gotten the amiibos so I can take them out and get them back. Yeah, that's what I did with um, Deirdre on uh, Lorien. Let's see, what else can I do? Heck yeah. My starters were stinky and hazel. People do not talk about stinky enough. Look at that, we're at 4,000 out of 5,000 Nook Miles today. We're zooming right along. We only need 700 more. How many tools do I have to make? I'd have to make three tools. I'm too lazy for that. I also need to catch four bugs. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hans is my favorite villager, not mine. I do think it's cool that he's kind of like Bigfoot, like the vibe is the abominable snowman. Stinky is cute. I wish he could take his little wrestling mask off, but even so, he's so precious looking. I just heard a grasshopper. Bestie, where are you? That's a weed. Okay. I love Stinky. I love this Stinky love in the chat today. We do adore Stinky. He's just a little cat. He's just a little baby. Oh, there are a lot of weeds over here. Thank you, Luca, for subscribing. I started with Billy and Deirdre. My campsite was Olaf. Who is Olaf? Oh, I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. It's like the anteater, I believe. Eric is my favorite. Eric is lazy, right? Yeah. I got Eric for my first ever island, and I ended up not really finding him interesting. I guess because I just like Funchy so much, though. Come here, little fishy. When will you next stream? Hopefully next Saturday. Or this coming Saturday. I'm really hoping that I can work out a regular schedule again, because I enjoy streaming. I think it's fun. Olaf is disgusting. Stop. Pico is my favorite villager. Also, don't know how to actually pronounce her name. I think it's Pico. I just got Judy. Wow. Lucky. I really like Judy. Look at him go. Hi, Tommy. Look at him. He is so cute. I love the gaw catchphrase of my stinky. Yeah. I just love all the cats. All of them. Lily is the cutest. I had Lily on Lost Falls for a while, actually. I think she was a random move-in. Like, one of the first five, maybe? Or maybe I found her on a mystery island. I get my island's histories mixed up. My, or mixed up, I mean. Let's go, little fishy. This is a river fish. I feel like what I really struggle with in the beginning is finding bugs. That are, like, new. Most smug villagers are kind of bad. Or have kind of bad designs. I feel like the only smugs that I like are, uh, I don't even really like Marshall, but he is cute. And I like Raymond. There's another smug villager. I like Zell. But yeah, I feel like they do have less cute ones than the other personalities, which is kind of funny since the smug villagers are the ones who are, like, all about looks and, like, being famous. Silvana is so adorable. What is her personality? She's a squirrel, right? She's a little white and brown squirrel. I got Judy with one Nook Mile ticket. I got her with three, I think, one time. Either three or four Nook Miles tickets. I can't believe people think Judy's scary. She is so precious. She is a total cutie. 
Who do you think is the most underrated villager? I'd have to think on that one. There are so many that I think are really precious. I think Broccolo is underrated. I think that's my final answer because he's not only like underrated, he's like disliked, I feel like generally because the mice are just not liked. I like Julian. Julian is cute. Eugene is kind of cool. I can't remember what he looks like. Is he a sheep? Zell and Tex are my smug babies. Marshall too. I feel like I like Raymond so much just because he's a cat. I don't think you have Judy as a starter villager unless you mean one of the three that like move in when you make the houses. I think the personalities are set. So you get a sisterly and a jock as your first two villagers. And then I think it's a lazy, a snooty, and one other villager move into the three houses that you build. I remember Julian as the unicorn. He's pretty iconic, little blue horse boy. Silvana is normal. Okay, that's what I figured. Somehow she looks like a normal villager. I feel like normals are the cutest villagers in the game. I wish I had a shovel. I feel like I could do so much more if I just had a shovel. My favorite villager is Peanut. She was one of the three that move in from the plots. Peanut is also a squirrel, isn't she? Is that correct? We've got something here. Trashed tools. Oh yeah, I broke my first tool. Oh my gosh, we only need 400 more points. How much is this? 300. We need 100 more before the stream ends. Okay, let's go. Maybe I should look and see what I could do. Underwater understudy. Oh, I'd have to catch 50 of those. No. Mm -mm, no thanks. You've got the bug. I need four more bugs, but I feel like there aren't four bugs out and about right now that I don't already have. Flower power. I could plant 50 flowers. That would do the trick. Cast master. Don't I only have to get like 10 in a row? We could try that 10 in a row. Or I could take a picture. Doesn't that give you clothes? Let's take a picture somewhere important, actually. Like a before and after kind of thing. You can do it here at the entrance. ka -chow. Before? I'll also take it from this perspective in case my entrance build is more of a this kind of kind of deal. Okay, I think that's it. Change your passport comment or write on the bulletin board. Yeah, that was also smart. I did write on the bulletin board. I did write on there. So we have got the island shutterbug. Heck yeah, 5,000. I found Sprocket on my first Nook Miles ticket. Yikes. Don't even remind me that he's here on my island right now. It's hard out here. I got the game not that long ago, and my first three random move-in villagers were Judy, Lucky, and Aurora. Who is Aurora? What a beautiful name. Judy and Lucky are both really cool, though, so if you act like you love Aurora, too, those are, like, really nice three random villagers. You got Tangy! Oh, yeah, Peppy, I think, was the other personality that it often does. Let's pay these Nook Miles. I have Goldie, Judy, Raymond, Aurora, Lily, and Blue Bear. I love Blue Bear. About my moving fees. Nice, get that house. Thank you, dragon, I will. You owe 5,000 miles. Now I have 200 miles. After this, I'm gonna try to save all of my miles for unlocking the terraforming things, because they're like really expensive. I think to get all of the paths and everything, it's like 27,000 miles. It's fine, I guess. I love Cat because she's one of my first. Yeah, I also adore Cat. Together, we're reshaping this barren wasteland. I mean, pristine paradise. Wow. Into a lovely community. He really said this barren wasteland. This is Zinnia you're talking about, my guy. I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom houses. Now, there are certain challenges to building. I'd really just skip that without reading it. Blueberry is such a queen. Yes, she is. 
Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. How will you terraform with no theme? We'll just go. We'll just do it. We'll just wing it every time. I think the terraforming will probably- whoa. Let me- let me recalibrate. I think the terraforming is gonna be pretty simple anyway. Okay, Zach, thank you so much for modding. I'll see you later. Alright. So now we've got our house under our belt. I think you get Nook Miles- yeah, you get Nook Miles for that. Ironic. So now we're at 700. Okay, friends. I think that's all I have to offer you today. Let me adjust the camera here. You can see Timmy and Tom Nook as we exit. There we go. All right, thank you all so much for coming today. Thank you so much to everyone who became a member today. We hit our member goal in one video. I really didn't expect that. Like, you all are just so kind and I can't wait to see you on the next stream. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you for coming today. Goodbye.